Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you would like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos. Let's see here. So, we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with somebody who was improperly touching a minor. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. I am 35 years old. I adopted a two-year-old child. When he started going to school, he told the teacher that I played with his private parts each time I bathed him. One day when I came for him, I was arrested. Yeah, okay. Um, first of all, you need to know your Miranda rights. Remember, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, you're gonna get, they'll get a public defender. Look, never, ever, ever say anything in a situation like this because, I mean, if you say I didn't do it, oh, oh, uh, it only happened because I was bathing him and I was cleaning his thing, I'm like, whether or not you're innocent or guilty, you're gonna say that. I mean, unless you're, you know, you're, unless you flat out say that you did it, but generally speaking, so it, it doesn't really help you to tell your version of the story, all right? The police will interview the child, social workers will interview the child, and he's going to be interviewed repeatedly over and over and over and over to see how consistent his statements are. And also it's going to be necessary to figure out what his motive is if he's, if the child is in fact lying. Now, obviously you can have uh, a private investigator look into this. And also um, when, it ta when it's time to go to court, especially if you take this case to a jury trial, your attorney will be able to cross-examine the child, obviously with the help of uh, somebody who's there, obviously, but uh, for emotional support. But your attorney will be able to ask questions of that child to see the level of consistency and also to describe the touching and whether or not the touching was simply a cleaning versus it was done for some kind of sexual gratification. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, it's going to be a he said, he said type situation where a jury is going to listen to the child's story, is going to listen to the consistency or inconsistency of the child's statements, and eventually uh, they will have to decide uh, guilty or not guilty. Now, it's the job of the attorney to create this opening, this reasonable doubt opening, so that a jury who sees the inconsistencies and maybe hears a little bit of a motive here, a little bit of a motive there, could say, huh, maybe this guy didn't really do it. You, you know, I mean, and then remember, as long as the doubt is reasonable, that should be enough to get you a not guilty verdict. But please, do not give a statement to the police we're talking about a violation of Penal Code Section 288A, which is lewd and lascivious acts of the minor. This is a felony that carries up to eight years state prison, plus having to register as a sex offender for life. If there is an allegation that there was um, uh, three or more instances of touching, sexual touching, during the course of three months, this would be a violation of Penal Code Section 288.5, obviously a felony, that carries up to 16 years state prison. And now if the alleged victim is alleging any kind of penetration, not just touching his penis, but any kind of penetration, finger or anything else for that matter, because the victim is under 10 years old, that would be a violation of Penal Code Section 288.7, 288.7 felony here in the state of California that carries up to um, 25 to life. And for those of you who don't really know what 25 to life is, 25 to life basically means a life sentence. It's life. It's just that after 25 years, you could apply for parole, but very few people actually do in fact get parole. So keep in mind when somebody gets a 25 to life sentence, think life. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos. But if you've been accused of a crime and need representation in court here in the San Francisco Bay Area, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677.
on our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who was uh, arrested for possession of controlled substances. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers, criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.